Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I'll give you an overview of Oxygen's basic builder elements. So to get to the basic elements, click Add and go to the Basic section. And in this section, we have sections, divs, and columns. These are for creating your page layout. We have headings, text, and rich text. This is for adding text to your pages. We have text link, link wrapper, and button. These are for creating links on your pages. We have image, video, and icon. And then we have code block for inserting custom code to your page. So in Oxygen, generally you'll put your content inside of sections. So usually the first element you'll add to a page is a section. Inside a section, uh, there is a container that contains the width of the content in your section to your page width. So that way, if you're looking at it on a really big wide screen, the page will still be a normal width. Uh, inside a section, you can place anything you wish. And on the section, you have layout controls, which allow you to control the layout of elements in the section. For example, stack vertically or stack horizontally uh, in the alignment left, center, right, stretch. So, okay, that's a section. Um, after sections, we have divs. So I'll add a section. I'll put a heading in the section. Go to the section, center it. Then I will add a div. A div is basically just a block, uh, something to divide up your layout. So you can put elements in this div and control the layout of the elements in this div or the styles of the div itself. So for example, I might put a button and a text link in the div, and then I'll go to the div and stack the elements in the div horizontally and vertical align them middle, then add some space to the button and to the div. And now by combining a section and a div, I've created a horizontal layout in the div inside of my vertical layout in the section. So you notice now I've able to, I was able to easily create a horizontal layout here without using columns. Next up, we have columns, that is for column-based content. Once you add a columns, you will be given uh, six preset options for column layout. So I will choose 50-50, but you can also customize this. Just simply click a column, specify the width you want, and the width of the other columns will be adjusted appropriately. So columns has various options for responsive, uh, reversing column order, uh, setting the column width to 50%, uh, et cetera. Each individual column has its own layout controls. So for example, I might add a heading and text in this column and an image in another column. And then I could control the layout of the elements in this column individually. For example, stack vertically, align center, vertical align middle. Okay, that is how to use sections, columns, and divs. There's more details on creating layouts with Oxygen using sections, columns, and divs in the layout video. Um, after sections, columns, and divs, we have our text elements. So we have a heading. To edit the text that you add to a page in Oxygen, simply double click the text and, and start typing. And when you're done editing the text, you can click outside the text or you can click the done button. We also have this uh, formatting toolbar in the top, so you could make some of the text italic. You could add a span to the text, so you could style that span individually and other formatting options. Now, uh, all text elements have uh, settings in the primary tab for adjusting common text styles. For example, your font family, uh, your text color, your font size, your font weight, uh, and the heading tag, H1 through H6. So for text elements, it's the same. Double click to edit, formatting toolbar, click outside when you're done editing. The rich text element is a little bit different. You double click it to edit, and you get this uh, WordPress text editor, and this allows you to create more formatted text like uh, lists and bullet points and numbered lists. Um, so for whatever reason you want to use the WordPress text editor for some text, use the rich text element. Okay, after our text elements, we have links. So links are ways to get from one page to another on your site. So once you add a link, you can set the URL the link links to in the primary tab in the URL field. You can click set and browse 
the pages already on your site, click add link, or you can just manually type in the link URL to any page you wish. And then you have options for link color, text hover color, font size, whether or not to underline the link, common options like that. Uh, in addition to text links, we have buttons. That's the same as a text link, but it's just a button and you have styling options for the button, solid outline, button size, button color, things like that. Uh, and then we have link wrapper. A link wrapper is basically a div that's a link. So you can put other elements inside of the link wrapper. So maybe I want to make a link that is an image and some text. So I could add an image in here. It's just the width of this so we can see a little bit better. And maybe I'll put a heading in here. And then let's say I'll put some padding on it, space on it, give it a special background color. Okay, now this whole thing is a link. I could click anywhere on this. I could click on the image. I could click on the heading and it would be a link. You can set the link URL here and you have the same layout properties as you would have if you were editing a div or a section or columns. Okay, that's how to use links in Oxygen. Next up, we have image, video, and icon. So image simply adds an image to your page. You can click browse to choose an image from the media library or you can just paste in a URL. You can choose width and height and image alt text. Then we have video. This will display a responsive video. You can choose the aspect ratio, widescreen, cinematic, standard. You can manually paste in iframe embed code, or you can specify a YouTube or Vimeo URL. And the great thing about this versus manually pa pasting in um, embed code into a code block is this video element is responsive and it maintains the video aspect ratio regardless of the screen resolution. So that is video. Then we have icon. Icon adds an icon to your page from the two icon sets included with Oxygen, Font Awesome, and Linear Icons. You can also upload your own custom SVG sets. So watch the custom SVG sets for instructions on that. You can set your icon color, icon size, and if you don't want just a basic icon, you can also have outline or solid, two alternative icon styles. Okay, and then the last element we have is code block. This allows you to just paste in your own PHP, HTML, uh, CSS, and JavaScript code to your page. Okay, that is a quick overview of the basic elements in Oxygen.